The day began with a zero hedge piece reporting that President Obama would veto the bill currently in the Senate to hold the Saudi government legally responsible if proven it had a hand in planning and or supporting the attacks of 9-11. According to the administration, signing such a bill to lift Saudi Arabia's sovereign immunity would place the U.S. at risk if other countries passed similar laws against us. Also in his zero hedge piece was news that one senator had placed a hold on the bill, effectively preventing it from coming to the floor for a vote. But no one knew who that mysterious senator was. What senator would prevent the families of the 9-11 victims from seeking justice if the 28 redacted pages from the 9-11 report demonstrate significant Saudi government involvement in the plot, as is expected? That senator turns out to be Lindsey Graham. RSC, a steadfast member of Washington's neocon war hawk faction. While Senator Graham shares Saudi Arabia's desire to annihilate the Iranians, his motivation in blocking the Senate bill, as bad as it seems, is not necessarily a product of the legendary Saudi PR largesse spread throughout Capitol Hill. He's no enemy of Riyadh, but Graham has other worries about the bill. If the U.S. lifts Saudi immunity for its participation in the murder of 3,000 people on American soil on the 9th of November 2001, this would set a dangerous precedent where other countries or individuals might be able to sue the United States for all those its government murders overseas. That sort of thing just cannot be tolerated by the neocon interventionists, as they must be able to bomb and attack with impunity. To them, that is what it means to be exceptional. Senator Graham admits this fact openly. He cites U.S. sponsorship of terrorist factions in Syria as evidence of the danger of U.S. liability for their actions. Said Graham. Some of our allies are a bit dubious. I want to make sure that because we find common ground in one area, we don't own these people forever because of whatever they do. So he wants the U.S. to be able to continue to sponsor terrorists in Syria, and elsewhere, without any liability for their actions. Never would it occur to someone of such low moral character as Senator Graham that perhaps the real solution would be for the United States to stop sponsoring terrorists, or anyone else for that matter. Perhaps the answer would be to stop bombing hospitals and creating tens of thousands of collateral damage deaths. The bloodthirsty Graham wants to continue the neocon rampage through the Middle East and beyond without the least bit of inconvenience. His bloodlust places all of us in ever greater danger. He is far more a threat to the United States than ISIS, as his policies corrode the American soul.